104.1 KRBE. It's Laura and Charlie Puth. And we got wow. some listeners hanging out with you, too, trying to make it a whole party for you. Yeah, no, it's, I, I can feel the vibes. The vibes are very strong. Hello, everybody. Hi. Uh, What's happening? Oh, he's in his car. Oh, no, no, no. The best part is he's actually working right now. And he's Bro. he's literally in his car for, for this, to hang out with you. Well, damn. I won't take up much of your time, kind <laughs> sir. But uh, I appreciate all of you very much. And thanks for listening to the... Uh, the, uh, the songs and, and whatever I put out. I appreciate it. So we got a couple super fans in here who would love for me to talk about Light Switch because we've all been singing it all day. I follow you on TikTok. So does Tatiana. We talked about this. Um, you have been teasing that song for months. And I feel like I went on the air so many times like, Charlie's coming with new music, guys. I promise. I don't know when, but it's coming. So you just, you totally teased us all, but the song's amazing. So congratulations. Thank you. I, I always wanted to make a song with a sound effect. So I, you know, I, I, I think I did just that. It's definitely a weird song, but I'm happy that it's resonating and everybody likes it. Well, and I think you kind of got me thinking every little sound I hear now, I'm like, oh, Charlie Puth could totally turn this into a song. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just want to prove the point that everything has tonality to it and everything can be musical. Um, that's, I don't know, that's my, that's my biggest thing. I've always, I've always uh, uh, found that, uh, find, uh, that interesting that you can find things uh, in inanimate objects and air, air conditioners, things, anything that makes sounds can be, uh, can, can be musical. And I, and I just love that about music. No, that's very true. Very true. And you um, have shown us a lot of you on TikTok. Your personality shines for sure. And I'm just like, OK, there's a, a whole sexual part of Charlie going on. I feel like I've seen more skin from you in the past six months than like any time else. Well, I, I don't I don't know where I, I guess I just forget to put a shirt on because I'm so exact. I'm so excited to get the musical idea out it's not intended to be that way but you know if, if if people take it upon themselves to uh take what i say and put their own spin on it i can't help you know but giggle i mean i think it's a personality thing too like we, we were talking earlier you know tiktok's kind of that place to like not care what people think and and show who you really are so if if you know that's when you choose to film a video why not that's I, it makes it makes me happy and if people are reacting to it that's all i care about yeah i do want to talk about the music side of that because i think a, a tiktok has become a place where people go to find new music and discover new artists and i mean that's kind of our side of it so from your perspective how has tiktok and all the social apps and everything kind of helped you get your music out there and and what's that been like for you it's it's taken the place of, you know, we were all at home during uh, the pandemic, and it's really ta it, it took the place of being in front of a crowd for me, which was the most important important part of my musical process, because I would get off stage and want to create a a piece of music, the next piece of music that my fans could listen to, and I didn't have that, so I turned to the internet. The worldwide internet webs and i had a virtual audience instead of a real life audience but it completely changed the way that i write uh, that, that i that i interpreted music and i would the, the way that i would write it so I'm, I'm very thankful for the new tiktok audience if i even, if even should refer to as such yeah, well, and I think, you know, you're really personable with your with your fans on there, too. You're always, you know, responding to the comments and messages and everything. So I think I think you you've done well on that app. Well, thank, thank you. I, I, I just wanted it to, it to be the antithesis of like dog videos and, <laughs> and cat videos. I have to sneeze. <laughs> that was such that was we'll the weird together. Bless you, Charlie. Bless you. <laughs> I have the weirdest. I, thank you. I have the I have the weirdest sneezes ever. They're like half sneezes. Well, I sneeze like three times in a row. It's never just once. That was a weird one. 
You got to like look at the light or say elephant or something, right? Isn't that yeah. what you're supposed to do? I don't I guess I don't know what looking at the light does, but I guess that kind of makes you take your mind off of sneezing. I guess. I i don't know. Old wives tale, I guess. Um, I do. Uh, before I throw it to these beautiful KRBE listeners, I do have a segment on my show, H-Town Live, called Blame It on the Alcohol. Basically, you know, it speaks for like, itself. I need a story from you. <laughs> you need a story from me. Blame it on the alcohol. Um, I think. Let me see. I think, you know, at the very beginning of my career, I didn't think that anybody knew who I was or what I did for a living. And there was a time where I, you know, I played a small show in Germany and, you know, Google at your own risk. But there there is a picture of me just drunk as a skunk at the very beginning of my career with my shirt off, taking pictures with fans, but that picture lives on the internet forever. And my goodness, it is embarrassing. I mean, you know, you got to laugh about it. I think we've all had those moments and, and you know, you, now you're, now you're shirtless on TikTok, and you're not even, are, are you drinking alcohol right now? No, this is oh, water. Water. I'm like vodka right now. Really? Oh my God. No, that's just, that's just, this is a fancy water coming out of a bottle. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I was like, dang, throwing it back. Okay. Uh, no, that's funny. And I'm totally going to Google that later. So thank you for that. <laughs> and that this was a bit, I don't even drink really. <laughs> this is like this. I could, we could have pretended that this was that for your segment. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for participating. Um, so we are going to throw it to the listeners now. I, I know that they have some questions they'd like to ask you. Um, Ashley, let's go with you first. All right. Hi, Charlie. I was wondering if you weren't making music for a living, what would you be doing? Ooh, I actually, I love our architecture and houses and I feel like they're not too different being creative in the design of a home. I feel like it, it's not that different alongside making a piece of music. So I'd probably be doing that. Hmm. Okay. Something of that nature. Hmm. Margaret. I was going to ask if you look forward to these meet and greets, but after hearing you, I feel like you probably would because you seem very personable. <laughs> but yeah, I've answered your question without answering it. I <laughs> love people. I love talking to people. And uh, sometimes I'll even just, I, I just, everybody has something unique to say. So yes, the answer is yes. I'll always, uh, I'll always look forward to uh, meeting people. Uh, Kevin. So you can get back to work. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. It's nice to meet you. Nice uh, to meet you. My question was going to be, how did your career start? Um, my career started when, well, you know, it's interesting. I wanted to just be, I guess I got signed to Ellen DeGeneres a really long time ago when she had a record label and it didn't last. And I went back to college and decided to just be like a record producer and then I started uploading my producer songs onto SoundCloud. And that's ironically when, ironically, when I wasn't trying to be an artist, that's, of course, when I became an artist. So, so I guess it's a, a testament to everything. Where do you work? Are you a personal shopper? Yes, I'm a personal shopper for HEB. I don't know what HEB is. Oh, my God, Charlie. When you come here next, you have to go. It's like the best grocery store ever really and when you are and when you're personal when you're personally shopping for somebody do they like ask you like just to like shop for them like completely they don't want to do anything i mean like the order gets placed online and then we do all the shopping that's kind of convenient yeah that's a, so it's like instacart but more yeah. even i like mm -hmm. that do you do that when or do you like to go to the grocery store and like pick this is the banana that i want yeah, I, I mean, I no, I would I would probably have him help me out because yeah. I can't I can't even really go to a grocery store nowadays because it's a little annoying, but <laughs> not because it's I'm a, I'm a above it or anything. It's just I, I I don't know why people I think when people meet me, they realize that I'm just like a guy. But like maybe if they haven't met me before, they think it's like this big deal and it's just not. I'm really here I am. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, I'm just trying to buy some 
soup. Like, please. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Tatiana, you're next. Hi, Mr. Otto. I love you so much. <laughs> but I got a question, and I think everybody's excited for this, so it's a two-parter. The first one is on the Voice Notes album cover of the first one. There yeah. is a red E minor key. Why is that? That's because attention is an E flat minor, and I told them put it on the E flat, but they put it on the E by accident. And I was like, okay. And we ended up um, changing the album cover just because the album, right yeah, it got, it just changed completely uh, in the midst of making it. So I was like, why not give two album covers? You, you didn't like the- demand. Sorry, I was sorry. You go ahead. I was gonna say you didn't like yeah. demand that <laughs> they fix it. I would have. It was already printed. <laughs> wanted to change the album uh, cover. It was very nice of you to let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second question. Okay, so on um, my favorite song ever, like I've heard your whole discovery, and my favorite song is "Empty Cups." Um, when you printed it. There's different lyrics on here. There is, you know, maybe tomorrow they'll all have something to say. Oh, right now we're in the rhythm. We don't need no one's permission. It changes here. It goes, baby, I'll meet you downstairs for another drink. Oh, uh, that I didn't realize that that was I, I didn't like that. I, I was like, I, I, I just want I like the way separate sounded. And I just thought Me too. for another drink sounded stupid. So that's, I guess they forgot to change it. Tatiana has a voice. I mean, let's get a collab going or something. I I had no yes, idea. Yes, I'm down. <laughs> yeah, I'm <gonna> this video. <laughs> All yeah. right. And uh, Mia, let's, let's get you on last but not least. Oh, are you frozen? I have to sneeze again. No, I, did I elephant, lose it? Elephant, elephant, elephant. Look at the light. <laughs> Ah, oh, it didn't work. All right, Mia, you ready? Yes. Hi, Charlie. Hello. How are we I super, love, I super my, love you. No. Like that was my mom. Uh, my question to you was, uh, who would you like to collaborate with? Who would I like to collaborate with? I would like to collaborate with... Lil Nas X and Paul McCartney together. Oh, yes. Yes. Awesome. A wild collaboration. It's funny. I can make out what you're saying, but you're breaking <laughs> up. But I can actually hear what you're saying, which is, shows how much I've been on Zoom lately. Yeah, right. No, that would be insane. That would be awesome. Yeah. Do, do we have uh, an, an album coming? I, I hate even the fact that I have to ask that, but like, I want to know. I, it's, I, it makes me happy. It makes me know that you care. <laughs> I, I think I want to put it out in the summertime. That's all I'll yeah. say. Some vibes. And yeah. when are we seeing you again? M- Houston misses you. I know. I miss Houston. I really, really miss Houston. Um, uh, probably this year. Honestly, I think I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling. So I think Houston will be in one of those stops. Awesome. Well, we, we cannot wait to see you. We're so excited. We love everything you're doing.